Right, so Mario Piso here. Listen, so semen retention, we already know what that is. Saving your seed, you're not splurging on adult film material, you're not sleeping with anybody, you are not releasing the seed of any kind at any time in any increment. And of course, that is raising your vibration naturally, getting more vital energy, raising your IQ, a whole bunch of, uh, of mental benefits, physical benefits, we already know this stuff. Now, what are we gonna talk about, right? We already, we already in, enveloped, right, the definition of semen retention. What we're gonna talk about today is we're gonna talk about the male fertility crisis. I didn't even know about this stuff. Of course, people on semen retention, if you're practicing it as well, it is very doubtful that you know about this epidemic as well because it doesn't really affect you, right? Naturally, we are sort of more attracted to the things that affect us directly. But apparently this is a thing. Sperm count in men has been divided in half a decade by decade by decade and eventually empirical data states that in that time that men were, are going to require an aid in order to impregnate women. This is so interesting. What can be the causes of this horrible scourge, right? Of course, if you guys follow the, the channel and listen to a lot of the things that I yell about, one of the many beliefs that I have is not to have kids, is not to have children. Because as we know, having children is tying souls that were in the ether to this physical reality, and then they are subject to the conditions of karma. Listen, if you could just think about it physically, like in a physical sense, if gravity pushes things down, it is very, very rare for an individual to rise up against gravity, right? Unless they apply some sort of personal force of their own. With that being said, the, the same rules can be applied to being born in this world and committing sin. Sin is akin to gravity. You're going to fall down. For individuals to not sin, they are applying some sort of personal force of their own to go to the sky, to go to the heavens. That will happen way less than usual. We know this. So of course, with that being said, it's silly to have kids because you're subjecting to the, them to the system of karma. Because they are subject to the system of karma, they can lose their soul, lose their way, and then in their next incarnation, they have a very, very bad situation. Silly being born in this world. So why is it that this whole male fertility crisis is a problem to me? Because this is this, right? Inherent in the, the bad, neg the negative, inherent in the negative that comes about with the male fertility crisis, which is not being able to have the material within the semen, within the sperm, to impregnate the female, that means that there's a lot of those nutrients, a lot of that material, that powerful material that makes up the God particle in semen, lacking as well. And of course, in the decades to come, it's gonna get even more worse. We could personally subject this, uh, this crisis to a whole number of factors adult film content on the rise of being viewed by myriad cultures and religions all around the world. That's one. Two, of course, there are way more, we have been much more of a technologically connected society. And as a result, a lot of the things that we have on us, i.e. our cell phones, right, that emit a radiation, if we're holding it too close to the uh, gonads, it's definitely affecting the sperm quality over time. Because we are inundated with all these bits of technology, it's only natural that our, our quality is going to suffer. There's that. The diets in general, we don't even have to just subject it to the, the American diet. It's the diets in general. We eat way too much. The food nowadays are not only processed immensely, but they are bioengineered, meaning that they lack substance. So you are going to gain size, you're going to be fat. You're, and of course, all that fat affects your your quality your sperm quality all of these things lending and of course let's relate the last point to something even more pertinent um, there the four out of five people are overweight meaning that excess fat has a lot to do with our, our sperm quality this is just a horrible horrible situation we know this right it's much more devastating than any other thing that has befallen that will befall us to be honest because if the constituent energy right which comes from the semen if that is sabotage if that is sort of um in danger in any way then of course all the policies that come about from the cultivation and the utilization of this powerful force is going to suffer along with it we have nowadays we're, this, we're no strangers to this of course following the channel and then just no just looking around using your, your own goddamn eyes we have a weakness of men all around. We, I am young, I guess, compared to all the, uh, the individuals that, ha that made their way in this place once upon a time. And I could see people amongst my age weak. They have weak spines. They have weak uh, knees. They have weak brain power. They are very, very good at manipulation. They smoke. 
excessively. They do drugs. They have sex excessively. They follow the creeds of the girls that they get tied with, right? And they get manipulated. It's almost as if they're like baby King Solomon's all around, except they have no idea of the story of King Solomon and of course the inevitable uh, negative end that he reached. Gentlemen, what we need to do, we know that senior retention is way more important than ever. You gotta be celibate, save your energy, stop going after women. Women are a waste of time and a waste of your energy. Families mean nothing in this world. This world is full of darkness and destruction in general. Individuals that have things that have will seek to manipulate and exploit the individuals that do not have, i.e. especially individuals like us on similar attention. We have a whole abundance of energy and we're feeling benevolent and we're feeling altruistic and we believe that the rest of the world operate on the same pretenses when in the reality it's not true. In fact, a lot of the people in power are exacerbating and increasing this epidemic, the male fertility crisis. It's not important insofar as if we cannot impregnate the female. That doesn't matter. We should not be starting families anyway in this fallen physical reality. What, what is important of, that we should take from this crisis, from the highlighting of this crisis, is that the material, that essence inside of our semen that's meant to impregnate, which is a lot of data, a, a lot of energy, a lot of power, it is being filtered, is being taken away from us because of the various habits that we have partaken in, that, that we were told to, that we were told by our doctors, by our experts, right? Individuals that are only in it for the money to perpetuate their rule in this fallen world. What we must do as individuals on semen retention is that we are supposed to strengthen ourselves, be celibate not only of the body and mind, but of course filtering of the individuals that we allow in our midst because they are all most likely in your personal countries or well, in personal towns, let's be a bit more microeconomic, in our personal towns, in our personal cities, right? The majority of the individuals are seeking to indulge. They're seeking to follow their biological imperative. They are seeking to consume and consume and indulge and have fun, have licentious fun. You are not alone in how you feel about your pretenses, about what the direction of society, the trajectory of our culture. You are not alone. We are heading into a ditch. We are heading into the mire. What you need to do is hold the line. I say this in all of my videos. All of the entire channel is predicated upon this. Semen retention, hold the line and eschew all policies and ideas that are in your midst that are trying to get you to become of this world. All of them. It doesn't matter if you grew up what, in whatever belief system that you had in place. It is all unimportant in the light of the true, the true knowledge. What'd you say? No, I'm not going to do that. Pub public space, my guy. I can scream as loud as I want. <laughs> anyway, guys, do not, un do not let the individuals of this world try to indirectly attack you when you are posing a threat just by holding your energy and fighting against the manufactured and constructed male fertility crisis. You see, just like the, uh, a lot of the many, many diseases and pandemics that occurred within this world, within our midst, were constructed and manufactured, there's no way we have an abundance of human capital and intelligence. We have a plethora of people that have a, a whole myriad of degrees and studies and the processes. They understand a lot in this world. Trust me, I am not going to be, I'm not the first person to understand how to break down the various religions and the groups of thought and how they relate to being of the objective way, holding your seed, holding your semen, separating yourself from the world. There are people that know this stuff, but they are hoarding that knowledge and keeping it secret in order to prevent individuals from triumphing over the things of this world that are manufactured to perpetuate control, including the male fertility crisis. Gentlemen, eat whole foods. We know that's not, don't go to the supermarket whole foods. We're not saying that. Go eat whole foods. Try to avoid as much consumption of bioengineered foods as possible. Breathe air, be out in the sun, get as many vitamins naturally as possible. Do exercise, stop accumulating body fat, study the old, be on semen retention. And trust me, the male fertility crisis will not even touch you, not even with a 99,000 foot pole because you are living the correct way. 
we have fallen very, very far from grace. And the individuals around you will tell you that you haven't, or they will try to persuade you that they haven't. But you must continue your path. You must continue your road. Stay on Seymour Retention, guys. Stay celibate. And this world cannot touch you. And the male fertility crisis will be something but like a, a very nice nursery tale. And with that being said, that is all I have to share with you guys about this horrible crisis and, of course, its relation to Seymour Retention. Today, if you guys enjoyed that kind of content, like, comment, subscribe, share the video with some peers. Of course, we have a new member membership program, right? The Shadow Collective. It is a group of individuals, of course, like myself and you all, that believe in semen retention, that believe of, of what I believe, right? And what other people have believed in reference to the things of this world, right? And the fallen nature and the negative things thereof. We have exclusive interviews. We have emojis. We have a lot of special perks in this membership. So just join. It's very, very cheap, I think. And if you don't want to join, it's all right, because my content will not ever fail you the free content. Don't ever let this place get you down. We have uh, individuals, we have the old poor old man, like you gotta keep your voice down. I don't actually, it's a public space. We got people all around you that are trying to take you down, that are trying to dim your light, that are trying to stop your broadcasting of real objective truth, isolate of any backing of any religion or any group of thought that used to prevail at one time or another. This is just gonna happen. And the more you watch this content, not my content specifically, but content in general, you are going to learn of the objective truth and your place in all of this, but you must not let this world knock you down because that is just the natural thing. This is just it. They talked about this in the story of King Arthur. They talked about this in all the tales, fighting the dragon, fighting the evil. This is going to just naturally happen. The moment you speak truth, you have light, right? You're following the objective reality. You will get cast down. It doesn't matter, but you must hold the line. The male fertility crisis is a huge thing. It's affecting us all. Maybe it is good to combat the, the plague of overpopulation in this world because Having children naturally in this day and age, right, in the midst of overpopulation, which puts a stress on all resources all around, is selfish. We don't have to listen to Ecclesiastes and Solomon's, uh, with Solomon's writings, the other writings he had, to uh, try to, uh, to, to think that your work, a child, is somehow vanity that is allowed. It is not. It is selfish and it is destructive to the planet. Be on similar attention, be celibate, understand the things of this world, understand the makeup, bring creative, objective, benevolent, altruistic, beautiful policies to this world, and trust me, this place is gonna change. And always stay radiant. I shall see you guys in the next video. Woo!